Hello, my beautiful darling loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancer, oh, I was about to say Cancerian only channel. This is a Leo only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. I do have a Cancer and Virgo only channel. The links to those are in the description box below. Readings can be vice versa. So flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post. Um, my tarot tutorial is currently 50% off. It's about two and a half hours to three hours long. It'll teach you how to start a YouTube channel, how to read tarot. So if you're interested in checking that out, the link is below. My new tarot and oracle deck are on my website, Spirit Shield Tarot. If you would like to check that out, the link is below. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, the link is below, okay? All right, my little lion cubs, let's see what we have here today, Spirit, for Leo, please. <clears throat> Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Tell me about Leo, please. Okay. So Leo, we could be dealing with a earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, or uh, someone here could be taking on the energy of an earth sign. We've got speaking up and we've got ego. Finding the courage to express what's in their heart. Hiding behind a false identity is limiting. Okay, so Leo, I feel like there is an earth sign here that is going to come forward and say how they really feel. This is someone who's been hiding their feelings, possibly because they were fearing rejection. Um, they didn't want to get hurt or they didn't know how, you know, if you felt the same way. Um, but there is somebody here that, you know, earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, uh, you know, earth energy usually represents commitment, stability, loyalty. So this may be somebody here that, you know, wants higher levels of commitment. They're finding the courage to speak how they really feel. Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. We've got the hermit and the chariot. So this person could be a Virgo. We've got strong Virgo here. This is someone that has taken a lot of time to think about what they want to say before they come forward. Okay, so this is someone that has really thought about what they want to say or how they want to go about this. We have the Two of Wands and the Seven of Cups. I feel like the person on this side, Leo, feels that the person that they want to move towards has a lot of options and they're fearing, they're fearing rejection here. So someone here is sitting in an energy of, you know what, I really need to just go for it because I'm not going to know unless I try. You know, someone here is saying, listen, I know you have a lot of options. You know, I know that, you know, whatever, but I, I feel like this. How do you feel about it? You know, someone is coming forward. We've got the King of Swords and the Strength card. And then they stop themselves. And then they stop themselves. So this is somebody that like they get themselves amped up to come forward. So there's one of two things here. Either this person gets themselves amped up to come forward and then they get scared that, you know, they're dealing with someone that has a lot of options and they're like, you know what, there's no way this person would want me. And then they pull back their energy and cut it off. Like as soon as this person comes forward to reveal their truth, they doubt themselves and they cut it off. Okay. Okay. Or this could be somebody, Leo, that hurt you in the past and they feel like they feel like if they were to come forward now, you wouldn't trust them. You would think that they're full of shit and they don't want to be, you know, see the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. This is somebody that either wants to come back and apologize and they don't feel like their apology will be accepted or they want to come forward and say, hey, listen, I want to date seriously or I want to be with you. And this is someone that's feeling that 
either they're not good enough or, you know, uh, you know, Leo has so many options. Why would Leo want me? You know what I'm saying? So the nine of wands and the ten of swords. This is somebody that, you know, they feel like if it's someone coming forward expressing how they feel, they don't want to get shut down and get hurt, you know, get hurt. Or if this is an ex, this is somebody where you may have had a very nasty ending with this person and they're afraid that their apology won't be accepted and they don't want to come out of this like looking stupid type of deal, you know? So we're going to go ahead and clarify with my deck, Spirit Shield Tarot. Spirit, tell me about Leo. Tell me about this hermit energy, please. The Hierophant. This is somebody, Leo, that has taken a lot of time to think. We've got strong Virgo, strong Taurus, and we also have Cancer here and, and Leo. <clears throat> okay, so this is someone that has taken a lot of time to think about what they want and what this person wants is high levels of commitment, okay? I, I really do believe that this is someone from your past that wants to come in and make amends and apologize, but they're fearing, they're fearing rejection. They're fearing rejection. seven of cups here and the moon you know what it is this person knows that you can't trust them uh well how do i want to put that correctly this person may have lied a lot in the past they may have strung you along or hurt you or they may have kept their options open and hid it from you and you found out about it with the ace of swords yeah you may have found out about it. So this person knows that you see them as someone that cannot be trusted. So now that they've made up their mind that, you know, Leo is the person that I really want to be with. They don't know how to, they don't know what to say. They don't know how to get you to trust them again. Do you understand? King of Swords here and the Ace of Pentacles. Strength card and the justice card like this person is trying to gain the courage to come forward and apologize and try to get you to believe that they really want to get on the same page and do the right thing this time but i feel that with the page of wands and the knight of wands they feel like you're gonna tell them i'm sorry but you're a hoe and i don't have time for this i have to go you know what i'm saying like you they feel like they feel like you have the right to look at them like they are someone for the streets. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, Leo, I mean, I don't know. You take it as it resonates. This could be vice versa. Okay, this could be vice versa. But I feel like in the past, this person had an opportunity with you to have something stable and long term and committed, but they made the wrong mistake. This person with the lover's card, Adam, even the snake, the ten of pentacles, the lover's card are soulmate energies here, Leo. Do you understand? So this person was tested by the divine to see that the, if they were deserving of this blessing with you and this person messed up, they kept on giving into temptation. Do you understand? They kept on sitting there one wondering if you know it would be the grass would be greener somewhere else or juggling you with other people do you understand and they're regretting it that they're regretting keeping their options open they're regretting all the times that you guys you may have forgiven this person repeatedly leo and that's why this person kind of knows that they're all out of chances. It would be a miracle if they can get another chance with you because you have tried to build with this person repeatedly and they have let you down and let the tower fall, let the whole relationship fall apart due to lies, due to cheating, due to being deceptive and conniving. Do you understand? And now with the King of Swords here, now that they want to be honest and serious, you're not going to take them seriously. Do you understand? This is literally the little boy that cried wolf. You know what I'm saying? This person knows that, you know, you have forgiven them one too many times. You know, what can they say this time that would be different than any other time? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like they've come to you before already and said that they loved you and they're sorry and they're never going to do it again. And do you understand this person doesn't know what to say because they've exhausted everything a person could possibly say to reconcile. So this is someone that's like, you know, Leo literally has no reason to, for you know, 
know what I'm saying? Like, what can I possibly say to Leo to get them to understand that I'm actually serious this time? This is like the little boy that cried wolf. You know, it is what it is. Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo, please. Yeah, you're going to see this person as someone that has a hidden agenda and committed elsewhere. So let me tell you, this person, Leo, may have been in multiple relationships. This person may have been in... Freya, are you okay? Do I even want to know what happened? I don't really want to know, Leo. Are, are you okay? All right. Okay. Um, all right. So this person, you may feel like this person has ulterior motives. They have a hidden agenda that this person is always hiding something. This person may not have just cheated on you, Leo. This is someone that may have been in multiple relationships while they were with you. You know, when this person, if this person were to reach out to you, you may say, oh, hey, what's up? How are your, how's the wife doing? How's your other girlfriends doing? How are all your other boyfriends doing? Do you understand? <sighs> Tell me about Leo. Yeah, I feel like, Leo, every time that you have forgiven this person in within a six-month period of time, you would come to find out that this person was just playing a game. You have forgiven this person multiple times, and every single time that you forgave this person, in less than six months, you would find out that this person was dating somewhere else, someone else committed elsewhere. And, and I mean, literally, this says they are still involved with or have feelings for someone else. You know, you would find out that this person was literally dating other people, like full-blown dating. Not to say that it's any better, any or less better, Leo. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, like, it wasn't even one-night stands or just sexual. Like, we're talking full-blown relationships tell me about leo please we have the nine of cups in the reverse and we've got the five of swords you know that when it comes down to this person you never come out on top it is nothing but mind fuck central with this person okay you know what i'm saying this person will never choose you never do anything to make you happy they will never this person is always out for themselves okay and now, you know, yeah, see, Three of Cups in the Lover's Card. I mean, this is a solid cheater. This is someone that is in multiple relationships at the same time. At the same time. Tell me about Leo, please. Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. I, I feel like you're done accepting apologies from this person. You are done. And now we know why. And now we know why this person is scared to come back, Leo. Because they've put you through it. How are they going to get you to trust that this time they're serious? Six of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. So Leo, this could be you wanting to be in a relationship with someone that puts you on a pedestal and that is willing to hurt other people's feelings to protect yours. And that's why you never want to deal with something like this again. That's number one. Number two, it could be that this person treated you this way, that they put third party energies before they did to, they did you. Do you see what I'm saying? Like this is somebody that made you, you thought you were in a full blown relationship with this person. And then you came to find out that this person was in a relationship and that you were the side piece. Like you thought this was your boyfriend. You thought this was your man. You thought this was your girl. And you come to find out that you're actually the the side piece do you understand what i'm saying that's how crazy it is with this person and, and you're just like but they want to come back around now and they're serious but they don't know what to say well now we know why five of swords and the nine of cups in the reverse with the moon card yeah this person always has something up their sleeve they, they're never honest they they lie constantly eight of cups here and the moon yeah I, I feel like you had to disconnect from this leo because this person there's always something hidden there's always an agenda there's always something that comes out with this person 
we've got the ace of swords and the knight of wands this person is for the streets and, and you have seen it you have accepted the truth and I don't think you could ever see this person in a different way. We've got the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So now, Leo, this person wants to come back. They want high levels of commitment. They're ready to settle down now, but they don't know how to, you know what I'm saying? They don't know how to, look, we've got the Five of Wands here, the Lover's Card in the reverse, the Two of Swords, and the Hierophant. This is someone that is actually willing to cut off all their side pieces and get serious with this Two of Cups here. They, and the Ace of Pentacles, they want to offer like actual real stability, but I don't know how this person is going to get you to believe them. Tell me about Leo. I don't know how this is going to happen. They're, they're coming. The, the Page of Wands and the Knight of Cups, they, they are going to reach out to you. They are going to get the courage to reach out to you here, Leo. So the devil is going to come knocking. The devil is here coming knocking. I, I feel like you just see this person as a whole demon just walking around, you know. So we've got the, what did I tell you? I mean, we've got the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Devil and the Queen of Pentacles. This person now has this obsession with settling down. I don't know. This person is really obsessed with the fact that you are their divine counterpart, that you guys are soulmates and that they want to get married. They've, they've gotten into this energy where they're ready to settle down and Leo, they are choosing you. Okay, and they are choosing you and and you know, you do not feel like a lucky winner here. You you don't I don't I don't think that you're gonna be very um receptive to this communication that's coming. I mean, you're literally going to be like, you know, may the power of Christ compel you. This person's trying to talk to you and you're just sprinkling holy water in this person's face. I mean, stop, Leo, I mean, y'all are extra sometimes. You know how it is, okay? Like, I mean, seriously, like this person's trying to talk and you're just sitting there spraying them with holy water and holding up the cross and, you know, a, a rope of garlic around your neck. And you know what I'm saying? You're just like, the, you see this person as toxic. It's one thing, you know, to be in a relationship and this person's cheating. That's common enough nowadays. But this is straight up someone that you come to find out that they're in like multiple relationships. Like, they, I mean, it's it's just crazy what this person is capable of. And some way or somehow they have pegged you to be the one that they want to settle down with. And, and you're sitting here like, you know holding or clutching your bible for dear life because this this person you see this person as a spawn of satan all right well we're going to take this one into the extended leo let's see what's going to happen when this person calls you are they going to be able to convince you um are they going to be able to convince you that they're serious this time and what will happen if you take the offer and what will happen if you let it go? Should you stay? Should you go? Should you trust this person? You know what I'm saying? What's going to happen? Um, the link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys so much and I will see you there. Take care, my loves.